Hey guys, it's Lance at Max Sound Solutions, and today I'm going to try installing Ventura on my 2012 MacBook Pro. It's a mid-2012. It's got two SSDs in it. So I have Catalina, which is the last supported operating system that Apple allows you to have on it. And then I have another SSD where I'm going to try using OpenCore Legacy Patcher for the first time, which enables you to install a modern OS on unsupported hardware. Um, there's a guy named Mr. McIntosh here on YouTube, and he shows you step-by-step -step videos on how to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher and install the OS. So I am not going to bother you with that. I'm just going to do the install, then I'm going to leap to the other side, and we're going to see how this 10-year-old computer handles running Ventura. So the install was successful. It's running Ventura. You know, the one weird thing is that the boot sequence is a little odd. So you power up the MacBook Pro, you get the OpenCore Legacy Patcher bootloader, and then hit enter to select the drive that you want to boot from. Then immediately you get the login screen asking you for your user password. So you type in your password like you normally would, then the computer boots. So that's totally different than the usual boot sequence where you usually hit the power button, it boots up, then it asks you for your login. It took about a minute and 20 seconds for it to boot after I typed in my user password. So that's a little odd. You know, Catalina boots a lot quicker, probably more like 20 seconds. So I don't know why that's happening, if that's an open core legacy patcher thing, or if that's something Apple changed in Ventura. I don't like what Apple did with the system preferences, and hopefully they'll clean that up in the next update or so. Uh, the other thing is I tried Sidecar, and I didn't think it was going to work at all, so I was kind of surprised that it did work. I have a 2018 iPad Pro, and, uh, you know, this computer does not have the T2 chip, and it does have integrated graphics, and it does have a discrete graphics card. It's got both. So it did work, but it didn't work well. Um, it looked kind of fuzzy, and then I got this message saying, plug the iPad into the MacBook Pro, and I tried that and with a USB cable, and uh, it, may, it worked better. But was it really usable? Not really. And uh, I just don't think I would ever use that anyway. So just for fun, I ran Geekbench on both operating systems. And to my surprise, Ventura squeaked out a pretty big win over Catalina. So now let's see how it does in the graphics department running Metal. And once again, Ventura wins on the Geekbench 5 Metal Benchmark by a sizable amount. For the most part, Ventura seems to run pretty darn well on the MacBook Pro. It's just slow boot times. Mountain Lion used to boot in like 13 seconds really fast. Then Catalina is slower. But now Ventura is really slow. And uh, I don't like having to wait a minute and a half or a minute and 15 seconds for my computer to boot. So we'll see how it goes. You know, Pro Tools is not supported either, so I can't really use Ventura. This is more of a test drive. So let me know what you guys think and let me know if you have the same boot sequence that I have. Boot screen, login, then the booting process. Very strange, never seen that before. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. If you feel so inclined, give me the thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Max Sound Solutions video.